Turning the page now on the education front, CMS teachers wrapping up a meeting with district leaders today after discussing a controversial plan to overhaul teacher licensing and pay in North Carolina. CMS could become a pilot district for the proposal once the State Board of Education gets funding from the, for the program from state lawmakers. WCNC Charlotte's Shamaria Morrison joins us live following that meeting. Shay, remind us again why uh, some teachers are opposed to this plan. Well, some of the largest criticism by teachers have been just how much input they have had when it comes to actually building the framework um, of at least the basics of this program when it comes to overhauling teacher pay and the licensing program that's associated with it. And another sticking point is that conversation around potentially tying up teacher raises to things like student evaluations and student performance pay. That's something that some teachers oppose. The CMS board members sat across from representatives from both the local and state chapters of the North Carolina Association of Educators. On the table, would CMS take a position on piloting a state board of education plan that would overhaul teacher licensing and pay in the state? We don't have enough, dis enough information to, to make the proper considerations at this time. It was, it's almost like we're at a wait and see what is going to be put forth be before us of what a pilot program looks like? What is it? What? How would that impact our operations? Like we, CMS we, board members repeated this talking point often during the meeting. It's an attempt to make clear the board will not take a position before getting feedback on the proposal from its own staff and teachers. I have lots of questions, just like everybody else does, because like we've echoed, it was not a plan. It was. Um, barely a framework. The state's proposal to change things is light on details, but the basics tie a teacher's pay to the license they hold. That license would be determined in part by a teacher's experience level and evaluations. The higher the license, the higher the pay. A member of the North Carolina Association of Teachers saying judging a teacher by student evaluations could be problematic. So if uh, a student is evaluating his or her teachers, are they just going to naturally evaluate their gym teacher higher than they would their um, math teacher? The consensus in the meeting was that more information is needed about the proposal since it could impact the future of teaching in North Carolina for years. Um, we don't have necessarily an agenda per se from the CMS side. We met with the Pepsi Commission. And just some context about that meeting. We just have to remember that any pilot program would probably not be until a couple of months or honestly, maybe even years away. The state board still would have to get approval from the um, from the General Assembly about this and some funding. But for now, live in Uptown Charlotte, Shamari Morrison, WCNC Charlotte. Shay, thanks for those updates.